Keenan, Barga and Cowie void. After the formation of the Big Bang, as matter and energy spread out from a singularity, it mostly spread out in a uniform way, predictable by most mathematicians and physicists educated in the matter. However, in recent years, it has come to the attention of many academics that though this might hold true for everywhere else in the known universe, this does not happen to be the case for the area around our immediate galaxy. It appears that our home galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is at the centre of a vast desert in regards to the universe, existing in the middle of one of the largest observed voids in all of the observable universe. This void is referred to as the KBC void, after its founders and lead researchers who came across this peculiar anomaly in each of their independent studies using various methods to prove the existence of this void and the lack of matter. Given the fact that the universe will normally disperse energy in organized filaments, it seems incredibly odd that our galaxy would find itself formed in the middle of essentially nothingness. Though these findings were made back in 2013 and the research data surrounding this information is fairly recent in its discovery, this finding has been at the centre of many conspiracy theory claims believing that perhaps the cause for this void comes from something artificial and not a natural anomaly of the universe. This can be further supported by the fact that the strange KBC void appears to be almost perfectly spherical in nature, almost as if our galaxy was at the centre of a massively growing explosion that spread out evenly in all directions. According to Nikolai Kardashev, the Russian astrophysicist who helped to design the metric of the Kardashev scale to accurately map out the advancements of the level of technological prowess of a civilization, he believed that not only would advanced civilizations require an incredibly high output of energy requirements, but that looking for these pockets of energy or lack of energy could be clear signs of advanced extraterrestrial life and its energy requirements and usage. This could mean that the void we find ourselves to be within could be the substantial amount of evidence required to prove the energy requirements of a surrounding advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Dr. Story Musgrave Our second bizarre story is that of the strange objects captured by Dr. Story Musgrave in space. Franklin Story Musgrave, known as Story Musgrave, was born in 1935 in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. One of seven children, Musgrave grew up to become a physician and a NASA astronaut, despite having come from an extraordinarily dysfunctional family full of abuse and alcoholism. In 1996, he became only the second astronaut to fly on six space flights. A highly intelligent individual, he holds six academic degrees, making him the world's most formally educated astronaut. In 1998, Musgrave held the record for the oldest person in orbit at age 61. With a huge variety of interests and a highly diverse range of career experiences, Musgrave has obviously had a very interesting life. One of the most curious tales of his space career was one involving a strange sighting from his spacecraft. Musgrave has said to have seen on at least two of his missions something he can only describe as a snake-looking being at least six to eight feet long. Looking rubbery due to internal waves and Musgrave believes this snake follows you for long periods of time throughout space. Musgrave believes that the snake must have been white in colour in order to reflect sunlight and appeared to swim due to the velocity of the nearby spacecraft. Due to the lack of gravity in space, items like the snake are able to glide freely, in what Musgrave calls an extraordinary ballet. The only theory that Musgrave has to explain the strange object is that it may have been an uncritical rubber seal from the main engines. Interestingly, Musgrave has a strong belief in the existence of other life forms, a belief that was crystallized on his many space voyages. He says, the more you fly in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there. And that sort of thing brings to you, really, a certainty that other living creatures are out there. In other interviews, he has said, I feel that they're everywhere out there, and they're doing interstellar travel. We'll think differently about ourselves once we accept that. Now 84, it is unlikely that Musgrave will ever get a concrete explanation for his bizarre sightings while in space. However, 
The fact that such an intelligent and accomplished individual believes with such conviction that we are not alone in the universe is a comfort to those who adamantly believe that humans are not the only species inhabiting the universe. UFO Captured by International Space Station's Cameras In February 2020, a truly strange occurrence was captured by the International Space Station's cameras. Viewers were astonished to see what appeared to be a UFO following the International Space Station, also known as ISS, for around 20 minutes. The bizarre sighting was captured on the US Space Agency's live camera as they were doing routine maintenance. The footage appears to show a mysterious cone-shaped object zooming above the International Space Station. At one point in the video, NASA's camera actually focuses on the object, as if to query the nature of the unidentified item. The footage is 22 minutes long in total. The object consistently moves at the same speed as the ISS, which is estimated to have a velocity of an incredible 78 kilometers per second. In a truly inexplicable twist, at the end of the footage, the UFO, which is believed to be around the same size as a bus, shoots upwards and disappears, leaving behind a green burst of light. What could this UFO be? It seems that there is no explanation for the sighting. However, some have speculated that the UFO may be some sort of secret military technology. This is not the only example of a recent UFO caught on camera. Back in 2016, an eerie light was identified near Earth on the NASA live feed. Soon after it appeared, the feed abruptly stopped, with NASA later claiming that the object was either space debris, a reflection, or light from Earth. In another case, while watching the live stream from the International Space Station in April 2020, viewers were similarly shocked to see a cylindrical object. The live feed from the ISS suddenly went down and the live stream was cut off. A former NASA engineer has described the sighting as nothing more than a space dandruff. The former engineer, James Oberg, said, I've had enough experience with real spaceflight to realize that what's being seen in many videos is nothing beyond normal from fully mundane phenomena occurring in unearthly settings. However, many are not convinced by this interpretation and remain certain that the sighting is evidence of something much more significant. Only a small number of people have ever made the journey into space, and thus it's difficult for the average person to comprehend what the experience would be like. Whether the experiences of Yang Liwei and Dr. Musgrove were caused by real stimuli or were merely illusions or tricks of the light, we may never know the true story. Perhaps even more intriguing are the UFO-like objects identified on ISS's own cameras. These are clear to see and, if the items pictured are of a classified military nature, it is likely that we will never get an explanation. The topic of UFOs is an interesting one, and although some think of aliens when the subject comes up, it's important to note that a UFO is simply an object that can't be identified at that moment in time. It's only been in recent years that the two have been paired. With that being said, more and more UFOs are being reported every year, with some of the most recent ones coming from the recent SpaceX launch. As of right now, the majority of these UFOs that are recorded in space remain a mystery. The Mathematical Implications of Fermi's Paradox According to the maths posited forth by renowned physicist Enrico Fermi, there seem to be mathematical implications relative to the nature of our Milky Way galaxy that makes it the prime location for life to come into existence. If Fermi's findings are mathematically sound, then there is overwhelming possibility that life is extremely abundant within our galaxy and the odds of extraterrestrial life existing and being capable of visiting our planet is more than just a possibility. It is almost a near certainty. Despite what the maths clearly show, however, the lack of first contact with an alien species directly contradicts the expected development of the life in the universe and ultimately creates a paradox that cannot be explained. In fact, it is so much not the case that it is mathematically implausible. For comparison, the Milky Way galaxy is filled up with roughly 400 billion stars. 20 billion of these 400 billion are suspected to be sun-like stars. Understanding the new advancements made by the Kepler Space Telescope, 
we know that roughly one-fifth of those sun-like stars have at least an Earth-sized planet in a habitable zone, which can vary greatly as the recent discovery of the Trappist system that held seven Earth-like planets in habitable zones seemed pretty common. If even so little as 0.1% of those planets had life on them, or some variation of life, then there would be roughly one million planets with life in just the Milky Way galaxy. But there isn't. Even taking time into consideration only seems to make the maths even more implausible. The chances for life are pretty great. The Milky Way itself is about 13 billion years old. The first habitable planets in the Milky Way would have come into existence about 2 billion years after the universe was formed. This leaves roughly an 11 billion year period since our formation for other advanced life to have been formed and since Earth is only 4 billion years old, there has most likely been trillions of likely chances and scenarios in the Milky Way alone for life on other planets to pop into existence. All we would require to notice other life would be for one species of these trillions of potential incidences to advance into a spacefaring civilization. Given the fact that research states that with our population growth and technological rate, our developments alone would allow human beings to colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy in about 2 million years. If we assume all outcomes the same, we should have been able to see an alien civilization by now considering the time, chances and probability of other life to have formed. The fact that we do not is horrifying. This had led many researchers to believe that maybe the forming of complex life isn't the issue and that perhaps there is an extinction level event to filter out the formation of complex life right around the corner, including for ourselves. The lack of life in our Milky Way galaxy, despite all of the maths and probability claiming the opposite, is known as Fermi's Paradox, and continues to be a mystery that researchers can't explain to this day. One hundred years left on Earth Quite possibly one of the most thought-provoking arguments made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his claims made about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations, regarding the overall statistical probability of the Earth facing a cataclysmic event at a large enough scale to cause human extinction, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated that it would only take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never even took into consideration. Not only is climate change and global warming an important issue that should be addressed, but by his calculations, there is no possible way to overcome the issue regardless of any form of technological advancement. What many people do not realise about the issues of climate change is that reducing carbon emissions does nothing to stop or prevent climate change overall. It merely slows it down. Dr Stephen Hawking compares the problem to that of a car speeding towards a cliff. Slowing down the car does not prevent it from falling into the ravine. It merely prolongs the inevitable. Considering the fact that as temperatures have risen, this has caused water vapours from the oceans to form, which in turn create additional greenhouse effects. It is impossible to stop the effects of climate change regardless of how many emissions are cut unless every single emission is reduced by 100% and a technology capable of causing an artificial cooling is created. Two events with a higher statistical improbability than the extinction event itself. Given these factors alone, one would not be surprised in the slightest by Dr Stephen Hawking's predictions, but his doomsday fortune does not stop there. Not only does he cite global warming as an issue of a cataclysmic scale, but he also believed and argued that we have reason to fear other advancements as well. From artificial intelligence uprising to alien invasions, Dr Stephen Hawking claims that the only way humanity will persist past his line of extinction is to make attempts at preserving our genetic lineage by looking to the stars and accepting the fate of our planet as a whole. The Earth only has 100 years left, and we are currently in a countdown race against an extinction-level event itself.